open the world. You didn't know that I knew magic, did you? But what's up, pack? And welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. We are pleased to inform you <laughs> that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and the Wizardry of the Fitz year student. They accepted me for who I really was. Oh, let's go. I get to make my character. Hold on. Let's, let's see real quick. I guess we can start out with this one. I need somebody to look like me. Hold on. Glasses? Yes, sir. Skin tone, chicken bone, leave me alone. Oh, yeah, we gotta do one across the eye. Got to. Brown eyes. Javian. Porter. Let's get it. Javian Porter, nice to meet you. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time again. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! What came George. out of nowhere? Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. He doesn't seem very pleased. Just invisible. Oh, we up. I, I ain't gonna lie, I've been waiting for this game to drop. Who was that? Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Ragnarok Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he a is dragon. a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities. You see that dragon? Miriam. How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. What's she writing to him? Before I could respond, I. Received plus. this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. 
It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. He's opened it. We did. Oh my! Hold on, that dragon. Oh lord. Get up. Get. Ah. Oh yeah, we done. We done seen death. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're dead. Yeah, get up out of it. Get up. <laughs> Grab it. No, 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 no. Oh, he's, he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. Go. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Let's drink this goblin snot. Nice. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? So, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. On your feet, soldier. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? Yo. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Absolutely, sir. Got some random pots over here. Got some gold. Sorry. Mind your step. I'm, yeah, look, I'm trying. I ain't trying to fall off down there. I do not know how to swim. You know how black people are. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Long oh, forgotten magic. I'm gonna say. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. And how do you assume we get over there? Oh, down there? We gotta make Hogwarts a... Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, no. that's the path down below. This way. Yeah, I know, I know, I know we got some Harry Potter fans watching. But sir, seen... why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. X. Great power comes great responsibility. Is that ice? 
It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Black Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. All right, I got it. Oh. oh. Excellent. I can destroy pot. Oh my god, it. What's that? Oh no, let me start. Let me start. Oh, we sliding. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Ah, up there. I was gonna say, uh, I don't know how to swim. I mean, in real life, I do. We're close now. It's just ahead. No more dragons. No more dragons. Steady yourself. This is not Goblet of Fire. We already did all of that. Reparo! Honest clean. All right, hurry up before it falls again. You know you got 20 seconds on your magic. Your wand is old. <laughs> Get them skippers Almost moving. There. Professor Fig. Oh, this is cool. We got the lines in the corner. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Hmm. This part. No? Okay. That enchanted crystallized stone again. Oh, what this? could it be blocking? Oh, What's it's the this? same logo as the thing. Professor Fig. This Hogwarts? Oh, this give me the chills. Professor! Odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? He just took Godric's it heart. Oh, Where are in. we? I don't believe it. Hogwarts? I mean, Hogwarts? It looks like Hogwarts. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, it's the, the Goblin Banker. them nails it can't be uh, just a moment <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> uh, <clears throat> <laughs> you just hear him making random noises <clears throat> welcome to Gringotts wizarding bank Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You don't gotta tell me twice. I think they're gonna jump on my neck and bite me. Oh, let's go. After you. I was going to say the same thing. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> On the wood. Oh, let's go. What are we moving? Hundreds oh my god! Hundreds. In fact, 
You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. A private oh, entrances off. to the bank I forgot this thing rotates. They are most Grab uncommon. Me. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. 360. Ooh, you the want to take a breath. A what? A water, water, water. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Hey, they just down here chilling. Stop. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. I'm going walk. Wait, it's the same. It's the same band that the dragon had around his neck. Yeah, we see it. We see it. Oh, he popped. Uh -oh. Professor, mm -hmm. the old band that God was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw in the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Told yeah, what you. What was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Right, exactly. That's fishy. Nobody's even be down here. And you ain't getting past me. I already seen it. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. He plays. You talk about security, put Vault your 12. money in a goblin's Thank you bank. For your help. Be impossible to rob that place. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor. Of oh, the wall. That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, that's how we do spells. That's clean. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Revelio. A door. Well, that's a start. Just touch it. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Put your hand on it. <laughs> Lumos. Uh-oh. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn yeah, our way Yeah, I don't like the dark. Here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. You gotta tell me twice. I ain't finna get caught in this dark. 
to get grabbed at the end of my neck by a monster hanging on one of these pillars. I'm about to headbutt him into the future. That boy gonna be wearing Nikes for the rest of his life. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. I'm gonna need you to stop. Let's get. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Wait a minute. What's... Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? Oh, what's the? I see some sort of statue. Oh, we got a mimic. A reflection in the floor. Let's mimic it. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, I'm messing up the spell. Lumos. Oh, this. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, that's dope. Don't break the ice. Uh oh. It's a game of chess. Look out! Oh. <laughs> My dude is cold. I don't I don't I don't know how to fight. Oh let's go. Come here. Get him. Yeah, back up. Back up, boy. No, 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 no. We got I got you. Let me else out. Get in there. Stay close. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. Don't snap on me. No, turn the lights on. Turn, turn the lights on. Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, what is it? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. That boy took off on me. Ah, that's where they're leading me. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Uh oh. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. There's three of them? Got him. Got him. Come here. Come here. Stop blocking. Oh, uh, get back. Get back. Stupefy. Come here. Stupefy. Because you're dumb. You're dumb. You're done. Oh my god. Come here. We in a battle, boy. It's ancient magic creatures. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah. You're done. You boys trying to sneak up on me. Alright, no more. No more. Turn light. Turn light on. Oh, this way. Yeah, let's put the burners on. See where they're going. Don't mislead you. Oh, I see it. What doorway? Where? Where is? Where's the professor figure? I, I I can't just leave him. Am I supposed to go in? What is this around my screen? 
Liquid look. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Oh. I wonder. What if this is wife's memory? I thought you were supposed to put a follow my lead. Stick your face in it. Oh, this is clean. Keeping it original. I like it. Is that Professor Dumbledore? The portkey is Charles. Broken. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will right be now. impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Uh-oh. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, the Ragnarok? you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to... Oh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? He got that red I'm magic. Not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. What? What is that? Oh my! That boy hit us with the force. This is an evil Yoda. Oh no! Yeah, you done messed up. Yep, dark magic. <laughs> You better run. <laughs> you better get your little ball. Oh, yeah, you're. Hey, you're, you're, you're done. Come on, get up, get up.
Oh, he's destroying it. Go, 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 go. Bro, keep on. Give me anxiety. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We, are we still trying to get to Hogwarts or like what's, what's the move? Hey. Uh, 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 mm -mm. Good intro. Oh, we made it. Let's go. We're finally in Hogwarts. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. You shake, now, shake the dust off of me? I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Got you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's get it. Give me Gryffindor. I'm finna be big. My first year, I'm like a grown man. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet Black. the headmaster. Serious Black? Son? Fick, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has goblins i've no time for rumors fig and i'm rapidly losing whatever patience i had left if you're lucky we might still be able to get you sorted this evening carry on <clears throat> i'll be in touch Why does that look Weasley, like me? We've one more to be sorted. Give me Gryffindor. Welcome. You're just come on, come in on, time. Come on, come on. Have a seat. Gryffindor. I swear, if you put me in anything else, I'm slapping. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Not Slytherin. Stark Lab. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder. Mm, I detect something in you. A certain sense of. You better not. Mm, what is it? You better not say it. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. 
You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. No. No. Better be Gryffindor. Let's go. Go. Oh. Ah, oh, let's play. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but... Don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. What is that? I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I see something in the window. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Okay, so is that Harry Potter's wife? Daughter? It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. We know. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead I'm of you tomorrow. To I you. shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. He's either Ron's daughter, wife. No, because that was Hermione. But it got to be Ron's daughter. Unless she took after, like, Looks Harry like Potter's gone. wife's maiden's name. Let's head to the common room. I, I have no idea. Well, my room kind of clean. I just hope I get some good roommates. Eat some peppermints and stuff together. Is it up or down? Now, which way is the common room? Oh. I guess I'm going the right way. In your fifth year. No doubt. Y'all's not gossiping about me. I just got here. She sounded like Mernie. What's her name? Mernie Murphy? The, the girl in the bath. Bur, back oh, up, you oh, six man. foot. Can't imagine starting new school. Dude, eight foot tall. I would really like someone to try it. Weasley. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. 
Good luck today. She gets bored no, every year. For attention. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also oh, terrifying. Anyway, I you've didn't, certainly brought I was supposed to keep the secret. To Gryffindor. And Hogwarts. I didn't even mean to click that. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm. It's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Dang, the girl got hot. She just, that's a good, that's a good eight feet. I don't even think I could do that. You're talking about just a vertical? She just, ah, come on. I just crawl through the snake tunnel. Yep, that, that'll work. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. <laughs> now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Ow. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. The scene that goes. Here you are. I thought it was that book that was going to chew my feet off. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh, that's clean. It just disappears. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I'm walking. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. There's another light scheme. What's I up, bro? certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Dookie up. What is this? Hello, kitty. No time to waste. You have classes to attend. Is that a, a, a cheetah cat? Okay. No. Uh, bye. <laughs> Who are you talking to, bro? Uh, you don't know? Uh, you don't want no problems? I, I, I wouldn't either. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. How did you get here before me? You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. At least you didn't do what that first That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. 
A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have <coughs> provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Well, thank you, thank you. Wait for her to walk off. She's got she going yet. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Well, good day to you, sir. I have to get to class. I'm going to be late. I finally made it to class. Oh, there go Slytherin boys. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. The girls sound like the child. Hello. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. 
Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. This should be easy. I was fighting giants. Give me that book. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. We're going to go outside. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Who <laughs> <Food> is cold? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? What am I supposed to do? Move the ball? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gunstones if you... Very good! I did it. There you go. Stay focused. Ah, I fell off. There you go. Excellent control there. Stay, 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 stay. Thanks to the best of us. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll uh -oh. be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. I'm not losing. I'm not losing. Come on, girl. Who do you think you are? Lisa. She got 50 off the rip. Yes! Alright, I got you. I'm here. Yes, sir. Stop playing with me. Very good. What's this? Okay. So that you can. All right, I'm, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull your stuff off. Brilliant. Let us see this. Oh, she's gonna hit mine. All right. Whew. I'm not stopping with this one. Akio. Fall off. The tie. I tied it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Obstacles. Yep. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. You all up in my this way, bro. Settles it all. He's in there. Yeah, that's hidden. Yes. Go. Let go. Ah. Okay, so that thing starts moving fast. All right. That is how it's done. That's it. 
Got him. Now I'm gonna pull this one over here. Yep, you lost. Oh, she pulls it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. But I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm finna knock her off. Watch. Not exactly your typical lucky. Not that I mind. No! Well done. You're tired of time with her. Very good, both of you. Well done. Well, at least I didn't get beat. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Uganda. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Let's go to class. I don't want to be late. My first day of school. I hate to make the professors mad. But yet again, this music is lovely, is it not? Snape. Uh-oh. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we Thank will you. review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. Ah. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Yeah, that's clean. Now, let's try something a little larger. Like a human. Step right up. I swear if this thing attacked me. Um yeah, I'm talking to you. Well like assassin. Let Creed. us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. now the basic cast. Well done. Levioso. Come here, boy. Very good, but the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. He, he would be from Levioso, Slytherin. They always... And Protego. Deuces. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Stupid Protego. Protego's things. Uh, yes, sir, boy. Come here, boy. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Yeah, get off the table, boy. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I 
I don't know where this is. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Yes. Thank you, Professor Hacker. Points to Gryffindor. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I'm gonna say, cause, uh, Harry Potter. That boy broke plenty of rules. So I, I might, I might have to be a bad boy a little bit. I ain't gonna break too many, cause I ain't trying to get kicked out. It's my first day. I'm pretty sure they was like, yep, he's gonna break some rules. Look, I mean, you can't blame me though. Harry Potter was a good boy. Harry Potter is my long lost uncle. As you can tell, I'm Javian Potter. Revelio. Whee! Huh? What in the. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? <laughs> as long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. Just walk but through he them. failed us, did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. That boy is cuckoo. I'd do that another time. Got places to be. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of Why course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Let's Get go! The ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. We not losing. Contringo! Lumos! Potato! Stupid one! You die! Act like a winner! Levioso! 
Akio. Yes, sir. Come here. You're mine. Oh, look at that dodge. Yes, sir. Come here. Lumos. Yes, sir. Let's go. I said, go, baby. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. I'd be running in class too if I if I if I was in Hogwarts. I mean, I don't know if I'd run, but this place is huge. It really doesn't look like the traditional place, but yet again, it does. I mean, I don't know because in the movies, you know, you really never seen like the whole castle, just like main parts, like the dorms and stuff. So technically, everything would look the same. I don't know. Don't ask me. I ain't make it. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same that, thing. They look like Dobby. Perhaps you could help. Dobby! Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Dobby! Ah, there Free you help! Are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. Why are you being so nosy? I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Thank Professor. You. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Work. You've managed your classes well. I get my own wand now? But you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the three broomsticks. A butter beer? We get to drink alcohol? It's supposed to be like the college of Hogwarts. Now pass me a cigarette. Oh, I'm playing. <laughs> if they let me pick my wand, though, we, hey, we gotta get something good. We gotta do. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Oh, this lit. It's like random people walking through the bushes and some more stuff. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. 
I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Yo, look at this scenery. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? It's the well, people that play the sports. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. The broom people. I she forgot the names of She thinks I should be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at, but if you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Good looking out, man. You want to catch some butterflies on the way, or can we uh, go ahead and get there? Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? Pe see for yourself. Was it Pegasus? Quite a sight, isn't it? Oh, you been... certainly don't see that every day. Oh, that's clean. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Hippogriffs, yes. You likely already named them, too. Prance, Hoop, and Sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. I want to go there. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Or is that it down there? Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Wait a minute, I can see the horses. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps is it, one day. Is it because I've seen death in the beginning of the game? Now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I think I think I seen those. I can see them horses. Them dead horses because I seen death in the beginning of the game. And that dragon came. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Oh, Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Oh. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon. <laughs> Mr. I'm just Moon collecting is quite stuff. Character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Move. How's me just so far away? This where it was closer than this. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Fact. I just want my wand. I got like my wand, but. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Let's go get our wand. This it? Yes, sir. But it's the same place. Just I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, 
Just a moment, please. That boy got a wand in his ear. Like right here. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Truly. We, we know who you are. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Come along. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Oh, that's kind of clean. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not good. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Nope, it's not. <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, that box you. right there. No, scoot uh, over. Mm. The blue one. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is I'm proving to you, be trickier than I had the blue anticipated. One. How I perplexing. I want the blue box. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, it was just green boxes. He was just trying to find the one for me. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Yeah, that's clean. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Got a couple more stops to make and then I'll be ready to go. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. J. Pippin's Pushins. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Thank you. And this one. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. I'm good. I got, come I, back another time if you're in go. a rush today. Let me guess. 
You're after something fresh. Yep. Like your mama. <laughs> we out. We out. But he turned us into a frog. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. What in the world? Is that doing? Is that doing anything? Away from the building! Away from the village! What in the world? Lost another one. Bro, they finna tear down all of this stuff. Dodge. You're mine now, boy. <laughs> oh my god. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. This dude got a lot of health. Can I use anything else? Let me no, that don't work. That don't work. A taste of his own medicine. Come here. Nicely done. He's gonna hurt. Ooh, I'm touching him. Right, I'm touching him with these boxes. A few more hits should do the job. Kami! Ah! Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you alright? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of Honora, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Sing Reparo. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Go ahead and repair this. Reparo. Oh, oh. oh, hello there. A, a moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Put this back. Yeah, this is clean. Lucky they didn't do more damage. That's what I'm saying. Oh, right here. Repair it. Good All right. Good as new. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. You're I was welcome. happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Oh my goodness. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, we got some drip in here. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. Thanks. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. Oh, I get a broomstick a too. To know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. 
Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Oh, that's, getting, that's getting crazy. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. I didn't expect that to come out of her. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents. This is, I'm sorry, this is throwing me off. To escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Is it a man? Thanks for this. Or no a pleasure. woman with a deep voice. I will say trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. I don't I don't know. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are. <coughs> What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Yeah, y'all better get this. butterbeer get forever. I'll put a cabinet, but I don't know. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Right, don't be going and telling people our note, business. I think we should head back to the castle. I didn't even get to drink my beer. And you're interrupting me. How do you even know I was in there? I, I knew we should have went somewhere else. And it's nighttime. We got to get going. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. I gotta go talk to Professor Fig. He got something. I need to tell him what we just encountered. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. 
clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I gotta go learn more magic. But hey, I'd rather be more prepared than anything. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Uh, shut it. Every time I walk somebody, they like, Oh, it's the one who, who killed the troll. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Walk all... Ready for another round? All the way over here. I think so. We shall see who shows up. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Thrashed? The only thing that thrashed is your forehead and Apologies that haircut. in advance. A three against two? Oh, y'all jumping now. I like it. I like it. I like it. Act like a winner. You're done. Lumos. Yes, sir. Oh, I just punched you in your forehead. Oh, I know that hurt. Yes, sir. Oh my God! Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Okay, I just started fast traveling because that stuff is way too far. I mean, you still got to run like a little bit, not as far as it normally is. If only a new student were to help me with my class. If only you would be quiet. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn. She's just sitting like this. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Easy. Leviosa. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incendiate yourself. If only 
a new student would help me with right, I'm finna murder her. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Let's go. Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. He's ruining the plan. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. Oh my God. But professor, we have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. We can't be sitting there telling him everything. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So... Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him. Oh, that's why. You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. I was say, I don't really think I had a choice. Like, we gotta, we gotta meet up with him. So, but I wanted to go with Professor Fig. Guess we sneaking in. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on we now. We need an invisible cloak. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. What'll happen if I mess up? Like, it'll just not give it to me? How long I got? Is it like a forever thing? Blast! The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Oh, he's 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 with me. Told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, oh, Lord. here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get in. 
but the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti-Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Quick. Let's go. We did it. We did it. What's that? Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Oh, that's a ghost. Y'all, y'all gotta be like Splinter Cell. Look, th look that way. As long as she don't come this way. Imagine being doomed for the rest of your life to sit there and watch some back and forth. Should be in the clip. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. I, I'm gonna Which need... is what, precisely? I'm gonna need you to stop yelling. I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Well, if you would be quiet. Come on, son. We don't need it anymore. Who have we here? Oh, my Sebastian God. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be naughty naughty you'll get caught peeves don't you... i'm going to tell i'm going to tell i'm going to tell <laughs> oh lord oh blasted peeves i've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Wait, is it Repero? Repero. Yeah, I knew I should have stayed invisible. He told me something you don't need it down here. I should have just kept. Something told me to go invisible, like right here. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. All right, we good. We, I think we in that same place we was in the beginning. Are oh, we gonna get in trouble? I I knew we should have waited on Professor Fig. We're gonna run up into something crazy. Good thing he gave me that fire. I learned that fire one before I came down here by myself. This one? Let's hurry up and do it before I go away. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Can I do that like every time? Or is that just like a, a charge bar? Come here.
Oh! Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. What is this? Oh, let's go. Oh, get back. Come here, boy. I know magic now. Oh, my. Look at them reactions. I'm sitting there walking casually. That must have started must going down. It, but to where? Get some money, 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 money. I already know they're waking up. Let me in. <laughs> you get one too. Incendio. <laughs> you want some? Boy, get up. Come here. It's oh, my God, that was close. Let me Got him. Let's go. We're doing this by ourselves. We don't need help. What is a book after all? It was just the same temple. Boy, strong. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. 
I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganog, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. She's evil. I can see it in her eyes. Sebastian. I'm getting caught. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> yeah, I told you we should, we should have stayed invisible. Yeah, I need to get a body. Look, it's one of the Jonas brothers. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Hmm. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. 
but you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I just now realized that my camera is glitching. But overall, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking. This is the end of the first episode. If you like what you see, make sure you already know what to do. Bite the like, subscribe today to join the pack if you're new. Like always, I'm going to go ahead so I can fix whatever this glitching is. But yeah, like always, stay strong, stay packed, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.